Uh, so this is Gian Yasmin Dean, hey. and uh, this is the inaugural episode of DC City Blog, um, a podcast that's going to be devoted to a lot of the venues in the Washington, D.C. area. And uh, it's primarily going to be uh, Dean and myself um, talking about the different places that we've been and, and the experiences that we've had. And today, um, my sister Yasmin is going to be joining us. And so we're going to just be talking. She didn't, she didn't go out with yeah. us last night, but we're just going to be talking about... <laughs> 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 I'm just in the middle. <laughs> we're just going to be talking about uh, what we did last night and the venues we, we went to and our experiences of them. So. Um, Last night we went to, um, well, we started out at Geisha Lounge. Yeah. Geisha Lounge. Have you been there? No, I feel so stupid. I've never been there. <laughs> I'm just like, really? Really? Okay. Have you heard of Geisha Lounge? Because yeah. I didn't even hear of, hear of it until... Well, I've been COVID. there because I'd, I'd gone to a, a soft opening and it was more of a dinner crowd. So this was the first time I went there on a, you know, for, for a club night. Right. And um, what'd you think? I thought it was kind of weird. And we, we walked down the stairs, and um, and they you can't really see in, and they stopped us, and they uh, they were like it's a ten dollar cover charge, and um, like I peeked my head around the corner, and it was like weird. It was strange. It was like being in a Japan town, like J Town. Oh, yeah. cool. Is it was, Japan? Well, it was it was a Asian theme, a Japanese oh. theme. It was like normally it's a sushi bar, and and it's kind of cool. Um, but it felt like we were like in Japan town because there was a bunch of kids, I don't want to say kids, but people, uh, no, just young, mid hip hop, you know, kind of uh, break dancing, popping. So, what did you think about the, um, I guess, the general decor of the place? Um, having seen it during um, a more lighted time, yeah. it's, it's pretty cool. Um, I actually like the decor. Yeah. Um, you know, they have these little booths that, um, you know, very Asian themed, you know, I'm with that. Outside, they kind of have a cool couple of uh, murals um, where it's a facial lounge, which is kind of cool. But yeah, in general, kind of, but the one thing that we, we talked about last night, which we both agree was cool, was the fact that it was very, it was very like, uh, antithetical. It was to D.C. Like, Absolutely. you don't get a lot of places like that in D.C. Right. where it's like b-boys and like this big weird Asian subculture you know, all break dancing and things like that. So that was kind of, it was cool to have that like kind of different flavor, I guess. And so overall impressions, I thought it was, I thought it was kind of cool. Um, I don't want, I wouldn't want to spend more than like 30 minutes there, but it was cool to just grab a drink there, I, I thought. Right. I, didn't, I wasn't crazy about the fact that we had to pay a cover to get in. No, no cover should have been required. No. But you had to make some money somehow. Yeah.